This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. voice up a little bit more and then we got something going for us here hi how are you i'm alex bennett this is the ramble and it goes on until midnight tonight uh, out of uh, new york city so it's eastern daylight time and uh, wherever you are in the world if it sounds like uh, we're uh, doing it at the same time as you are in your part of the world then it's live and if not uh, it's a, a recording look over here who's here there she is ladies and gentlemen the old broad herself. There she is. Two things. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me turn on your mic. Yeah. Two things. Yeah. Number one. Number t- one. You didn't play my theme song. Uh, and uh, number two, uh, on uh, air. Oh, on air. I got to turn on the on air sign. So there. There you go. It's now on and back of you. Are you happy? Yeah, and you don't have to play my theme song anymore. Well, I actually, I'll I had it in retirement. Let me explain a problem with your theme song. It's too long. N- no. No. So you said well, that's what I had several problems. It's <laughs> it's too long, and every time, a lot of times when I play it, uh, Facebook. Oh right, right. The royalty complains, or YouTube complains. YouTube that there are no royalties for it, and uh, occasionally I've had the same problem with Facebook. It seems that see, I subscribe to a, uh, a, a, a organization called Audio Blocks. And I pay them $100 a year, and I get to play anything out of about 10,000 songs they have in their library that we use, like all the stuff you hear here, yeah. all the, like the music I just played, sure. the theme I just played. But sometimes when I use that theme now, it shows up as, you didn't pay for this, so you can't do it. So then I have to get a hold of Audio Blocks, who then informs YouTube, yes, I do have the rights. And when it comes to Facebook, I've got to tell them, no, I own it. And so just to play your little theme song causes me no end of grief. Well, we have to give me a new one then. No. Yes. No. Yes. What's wrong yes. with mine? It's yours. Oh, 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 well, <laughs> I, I, have, I, have to, I hate to tell you, but this is also my show. I hate to tell you, but I'm your Friday night celebrity. It's also my <laughs> network. <laughs> Gabnet. You know, I mean. Uh, well, that, that would be my request. Let me see here. Uh, I, I, well, here, 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 here's a theme. Uh, we, no, not no, now. No. Not now. We'll do it another time. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for themes. That no, I can, not I now. Could use for not you. now. Um, uh, how about? Would you like just like an audio introduction? Like what? Like uh, oh, here's one for you. Ah, moose poop. How about that? <laughs> or or the other uh, sage wisdom. Life is a shit storm. And when it's rain and shit, the best umbrella you can buy is art. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah. So, what movie was that in? That was in uh, Tune In Tomorrow. It's right down there. Yeah, that was a great yeah, movie. We'll have to watch it Just again. terrific. Great. He, 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 one, of, one of Falk's best films. I agree. And, and when I told him that, when I interviewed him, he was absolutely amazed because he didn't think anybody knew about that film. Oh, we And loved he loved it. it, too. Yeah, and I loved it, too. And in fact, when we both saw independently before we met, but I remember that was one of the things we talked about. Yeah, I no, love the film. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, really, it's, it's a great film. Yes, it's an it absolutely is. great film. Uh, and it's called Tune In Tomorrow, and if you haven't seen it, uh, go get a copy or it's steal it or do whatever. It's just terrific. Um, so anyway, so today I was doing a lot of work. Now, uh, and I asked you, could you tell what I had changed. I, I've changed something very significantly here at GabNet. I couldn't tell. Let me, let me give you an example of what I have changed. Listen closely. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Now, you, you couldn't figure it out. And I, I, I'll play it again for you people listening. Here's another version. This is GabNet. The Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. It's a major change. Yeah, it is a major change. Uh, uh, Once you bring uh, it to my attention. Once you realize what it is, I'll I'll tell you what it is, folks. Um, 
I, one day I was sitting here and I was listening to the promos that we had, uh, uh, those what we call imagers, and I said, there's something wrong. I said, calling it talk radio is really old fashioned. It's an old concept. This isn't talk radio. And radio's dead. You know, and so I took all the promos out to begin with, Here's a problem I've got. Rob, who is the voice of Gabnet, and I will maintain him as the voice of Gabnet, even in rough times. Forever and ever. Is, uh, cannot do promos. Why? He doesn't have a studio right now. He's in the process of building a house and living in an apartment. And I don't think he has any of his equipment to do it with there. He, I think he can, maybe he can do the voices. So you have to it. drag it out to the fall. So what I had to do was go back and get the original track where he said... Uh, this is, you know, uh, Gabnet, the Gabnet radio. Uh, radio. talk radio, radio like you've never heard it before. And I had to gingerly go in and lift the word radio. radio. And I think I did a pretty good job of it. it. Yeah. This yeah. is Gabnet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. See? Yeah, I think yeah, it's I just, great. I just lift. You, are you proud of me, Rob? He did a good job. <laughs> are you proud of me, Rob? You did a good job. Yeah. And I also, I, I also changed uh, the, um, the lineup promo. That took you all afternoon yeah, to do that. Yeah, but I still use the same voice that yeah. Rob always had. I just changed the stuff We're that was in it. We're getting it. And we've got you covered the background. Live five nights well, a week. Oh, Music is changed. Yeah, Tuesday yeah. through Friday at 9.30 Eastern, it's The Exchange. Let's move on to the, the, the Robofish. The what? <laughs> Robofish. Robofish. Yeah, they, it's actually called the Beaky. B I K I, and essentially it's it's an underwater drone. Oh, nice! Finally, comes with a 4K it's great camera. Until something swallows it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Tuesday through Friday at 10 Eastern. Join Alex Bennett on the Ramble. New Hampshire has some of the uh, highest re- uh, uh, amount of heroin addicts and opioid I addicts. I think you're wrong about New Hampshire. It's Vermont. It's Vermont, same thing. No, it's watching. not the same thing. No, Bill, all, get your facts right, okay? Get your facts right. Talk to me about this 14-year-old girl was almost, she was in an adult prison. She was there. She was in an adult prison, and she almost got tried as an adult. Because now, why because didn't she go to the police and say that she was being abused? But we know for yeah. fact is it the child's fault is should the child be killed because the, the, it, she, it was a product? No, of but the child yeah. may be get killed if you allow these programs that Trump wants to yeah. get through to happen. Okay, Tuesday. Uh, anyway, anyway, you get the yeah. idea. Yeah. We, we changed. I changed all the yeah. stuff in between. And so, it's great. So, so I, I freshened it up. Everything else is still the same, unfortunately. You have to wait till Rob moves into his house. You have to wait until Rob moves into his house or somehow figures out how to... All he has to do is send me voice tracks and I can... Put know, the music and everything you know, And all it. the stuff surrounding it, yeah. But anyway, so that's, that's how I freshen things up today. So now we have uh, a whole bunch of new, uh, new uh, imagers. And to all our, our fine people who do shows here at GabNet... Please do not call it talk radio like you've never heard it before. It's it's uh, talk, talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah. One time I, I miscut it, and he was saying radio like you've never heard it before. And I went, <laughs> no, that's not what I want. <laughs> but uh, so that, that took up most of my most of my day. And I, I couldn't find the original music that he used on the original promos because that was... Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, sometimes, I uh, like at uh, at uh, audio blocks, they have a, something you got, like your theme. Uh, the uh, it's called Playful Cats, uh, sixty meaning sixty seconds, uh, is not on there anymore. It's like it's not available there anymore. So they probably stopped giving it to them. Well, that could be why they came well, after well, you. Yes, but my contract. And I, I literally have a literal contract I can print out with Audioblock says that at the time that I use the music, I can keep using that music forever. Even if they take it off their program. Yeah, yeah. I miss. I guess they have some kind of contract with their people. If they decide not to give them the Listed. music anymore, they still have to allow the people who downloaded it to use it. So anyway, that, that that's that's why your little theme song, which I love. Which you love is not themey. 
<laughs> at all. So anyway. Anyway. How was your week? Uh, I'm glad it's over. I have a four-day weekend. I was you, off you, today, you and I'm off on Monday. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you take a lot of days off. Well, I haven't gone on a holiday <laughs> in years. A vacation. That's vacation yeah. to most people. In England, it's holiday. Well, I haven't. I mean, a day here and a day there does not add. I, even my boss said that. I said, well, I'm just going to take a couple a day here, a day there. He said, that doesn't well, I, add I, up. I, I'm probably going to take a hiatus from this little thing we're doing here and uh, join for, me. for like a week or two and, and take a vacation or a holiday. I've always yeah. called it a holiday. Huh? It's either either word. It's it's an interchangeable. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but uh, 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 let me see here. Oh, am I, uh, for people who want to know, uh, in case they don't care, actually. I don't want to hear an update. No, my knee is feeling update, considerably update, better. But then he's going to have another ailment because the knee is getting better. So well, it's, The knee, yeah, I believe me, I don't want to do my little thing where I put my knee down first on oh, the bed. Oh, you will. No, It'll I, happen. I asked him, I asked him if I could do that, it, you know, and he said, well, you'll have the pain. He says it, it, you will have the searing pain, but it will be it will less. be there less and stay less each time. Each time. Yes. Yeah, so you'll you'll do it because you'll do it without thinking. Well, you know what I I did I didn't do my exercises today. I only have to do them twice a week each, but I didn't do my exercises. And part of the reason is is that when you start feeling good, you don't you, you stop caring about it. I told him that I wasn't icing it because I keep forgetting to ice it because it doesn't hurt enough for me to ice it. And he said, that's the problem. He says, keep icing it anyway, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I forgot to, two days in a row to take pills from my back and, yeah. and with this weather, it's really been well, hurting. Well, I have an appointment with the doctor on Wednesday, so I'm gonna get her to give me more of this. She, I asked her, could she give me a, you know, an ongoing prescription? Yeah. And she said, no, not until I see you next time and we know that it's working. She says, then I'll give you a, you know, mm -hmm. but this stuff really is fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is it called? Vol Voltaren, Voltaren gel. gel. Now, I want to tell you about Voltaren gel for a second, folks. I want, it, it, this, is just a, this is all part of something you want to talk about. I want to talk yes. about? Yeah. The I'm Voltaren the one that gel, gave it to you. This uh, tube of Voltaren gel, number one, is prescription. Mm -hmm. And it costs, I think I read somewhere, $61. I pay 35 copay, mm -hmm. all right? You go, uh, this is according to my physical therapist, you go anywhere in the world, and this is not a prescription medicine, and it's only $5 a tube. It's terrible. Okay? So, the, yeah, and really, it, Trump yeah. is gonna do something with the pharmaceuticals bullshit. It, it, oh, no, he's not gonna do anything about it. Of course not. You know, there was a thing about how many multimillionaire and billionaires there are today, yeah. and how the and, and the influence on the White House. Yeah, it's just proportional. Yeah, so I mean, it, 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 it you know, I mean, it's ridiculous that this little tube of gunk. Uh, you know, all this is really is a is a is almost a a gel application form of ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. It's not ibuprofen, but it's yeah. it's the same thing. It's same topical. Kind of Top, yeah. And uh, it isn't even internal. So because you're not swallowing it, it can't cause the problems it would have, have if you swallow it. Like, for instance, if you took, uh, you remember Celebrex? They had all that problem with heart problems yeah. and things like that. Well, if you were to make that into a topical, okay, it wouldn't have the same effect on you, but the I, the the FDA doesn't look at it that way. Hey, it's got ibuprofen in it. We have to label it like it's ibuprofen or whatever. This is it's another thing, but there's just too much uh, going on with the FDA where they take too long to get things. They going. don't do their job. They really don't do their job properly. Well, they do their job, but they do it to a fault. No, I I disagree. And then a lot of stuff they just let pass. They just let it go right through. Yeah. And on this mm. stuff, on this Volterran from my insurance company, I had to get one of those pre-approvals. Pre 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 Why? It's, it's only 61 bucks. Hell, they give me Cialis without a pre-approval anymore. And that's, uh, well, that's about 175. Well, look what I'm going through with the Forteo every month. 
for Teo's what? The shots. For what? Tell the them. The bone loss. People don't. It's for bone loss, which I have. Yeah. So I'm on this. I have bone loss, too. <laughs> you do. But that's just from age. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. And true. <laughs> Ah, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's been in a grouchy mood all week. I just want to say that. Well, I've been uh, suicidal. Yes. She doesn't care. <laughs> she gets all my stuff if I go before her. Well, you get all my stuff. Yeah. But all my stuff. Your stuff is worth more than my stuff. Yeah, and I gave up my storage bins. You still haven't. Oh, no, you have a storage bin. It's called this apartment. <laughs> well... <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I wish I had the room to put all the stuff from my storage bin in here. Alex. It would t- I could just put it all in the living room. Put it in the guest room. You know. When, when are you going to get the rest of those boxes here and start putting well, the stuff Damian. in? Well, ask Damien. Damien was Damien. sending Damien wasn't, hasn't sent any lately. Well, how far is he from the storage bin? Uh, well, he, no, I think he has some at his, as, at his house. He just hasn't done anything about Damien, them. Damien, mail them, please. Got to give him something to do. He has too much idle time on his hands. Yeah, I could use a few more boxes, Damien. But I'm not, you know, Damien's doing, been very nice to do Damien's this for me. Damien's great. Him. Been very nice to do this for me. But and if you sa- come to New York, you can stay with us. That's an open invitation just to Damien. <laughs> no one no, else. No, because we've put the we, K-Bosh. Yeah, we have no more guests. There was a uh, situation. <laughs> I'll, I'll, let me tell him. All right, but just, yeah. Yeah, I'll be vague about it. Yeah. I had this envelope. And it was a envelope that contained what I considered... It's rainy day money. The rainy day money. And I think there was about $3,000 in there at, at last count. I don't think it was two. I think it was three. But anyway, it was all in cash and so on. But he leaves it in the guest room. But I have it in a drawer where nobody's going to go. People go through drawers, just like the way people go through medicine cabinets in the bathroom. That's why I don't keep any Well, I went in in there there. a couple of weeks ago to count it, and there was half of it gone. Yeah. So. So no more guests. So no more guests. (laughs) That's it. I mean, what's terrible about it, tell you what's horrible about it when this happens. It's a horrible feeling. It's a horrible feeling that somebody you know. And like. And like, and welcomed into your home, and gave him the key to your apartment, and uh, did all that stuff. No, she said gave him the key to your apartment. Or him, or her. <laughs> no, uh, when I say him, it's yeah. because I would always say him. Yeah, so gave him the uh, key but, to the apartment. Or, or her. Or her. But there were, usually, there were usually a him and her here. Or a him. Yeah, or a him. And sometimes a her. Did we have several hymns? I think we had a, a couple of hymns here. We've had and several hers. hers. But anyway. Anyway. All these people, people we trust, know, love, care about. And that one of them stole some money. And no, it's not the maid, because I'm here when the maid's here. No, she and, doesn't, and, yeah. and none of them did. And believe it or not, I leave money in my pants. And when they clean my pants, they take the money out of the pants and they put, put it on, on top of the and table. And there's not a penny missing. Yeah, yeah. never. Even if there's coins that drop in the in the washers, yeah. she just puts it right on top. So so maybe if it was only two thousand, then there's about seven hundred dollars that was stolen. Well, even still, you know, you know, even, even still, the fact money is, is money. The fact is that somebody we know did this. Yeah, you know, and did this to us, somebody we trust, uh, uh, and we don't know who. We don't really have any real suspicions. But there were a lot of people who've stayed here over yeah, the last few years, four years. Yeah, you know. you know we're in this apartment six years. Really? Yeah, eleven. Really? And for half of that, we haven't paid rent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> nothing wrong there. And it just keeps going on, on and, and on. on. It's going to be on. two years before there's a trial. You think so? so? Yeah, that's what he said. Well, no, he didn't say that. Our lawyer said it to he us a that, while. He, he said, said that it'll take a couple of years. Said, First of all, yeah. not, we're not a priority he, case. He said that a year and a half ago. <laughs> if we go to trial. Well, and he wants to go to trial. He wants to go to trial. Yeah, uh, but he wants a jury and he can't get one. Because uh, anytime you sign a lease, on the lease it says you will not go to jury trial, that you will do this in arbitration. Yeah. You can change Yeah, you know, so you walk in front of a judge, and then you do your testimony, and then the judge goes, uh, here's how it, how it should be yeah. uh, delegated. Our case is pretty cut and dried, but uh, the other case, it's just, 
it, it's it's a clusterfuck, is what it is. In the meantime, I have to hand it to the uh, to the super and and actually to the landlords as well. They've been great they, to they, us. They treat us, yeah, uh, like you know, like and, like we're real people that. But something's here. broken. They fix it. Yeah. They don't. I understand they don't do that for the people who have rent controlled apartments and are paying eight hundred dollars a month to live in a twenty five room apartment. <laughs> apartment. But uh, they're very they're very decent. Yeah. They're very decent to us. I can I have no complaint. I agree. You know? Uh, and they, we're on the same side in, in court as they are because uh, we're being sued. As By the a, same person. Same person. And then we are in respect suing him. Yeah. So that's that. Yeah. yeah. we got another five minutes. Anything to talk about? We have another five minutes. My tooth is loose, you know. Uh-oh. Huh. Uh-oh, here we go. Well, you know, I feel it like it's a big, huge tooth. You make it into a big, huge tooth. I should just have it pulled. Remember, who was the one that had her husband, Fang? What's her name? Phyllis Dillard. Phyllis Dillard, her husband, Fang. Well, what would you call a guy with one big tooth coming out of his mouth? Well, Fang. Well, it, uh, I've been living with this. Should I get an uh, implant, which is like 6000 bucks, or should I just have him pull it and get like a little false tooth to put in there? Yeah, that's what I would uh, do. I was very, you know, when, I, when they did the implants, they give you a false tooth to wear. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, yeah. uh, it, oh, they don't give it to you. It's yeah. seven hundred and fifty bucks. But I would wear that thing, and I would go, "Do I really need an implant? I mean, this is uh, fine. I, I could live very comfortably with that. So that's maybe what I'll do." I don't know. Well, I had a tooth that that they pulled out in the front. There's yeah. there's four teeth at the bottom, and yeah. I have three now. So there was a big space. So they put braces on with like a false tooth. And then every few months, they made that tooth smaller and smaller yeah. until finally my teeth all. Yeah. But anyway, so I, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll do something about it eventually. But, but stop talking about it. But anyway, but, but she's going to lend me the money <sighs> if, if I need to get a, uh, <sighs> an implant. Because I'm unemployed, as you know. Have you heard that? Yes. I'm, I'm sick of being unemployed, but it, it, who's going to employ me? No one. <laughs> Are you sure of that? Yeah. My friend Walter says that he thinks that age has nothing to do with it. That there That's are bullshit. people. There are people who would hire me. Like uh, yeah, who? Yeah, he can't even find a job. <laughs> so you know, uh, yeah, who? Uh, and, and I keep living with this dream of I want to be. I want to. I want to be back in radio. And then I suddenly realized there isn't radio. Radio's gone. Radio's gone. It doesn't know. It's like. It's like a, a snake, you know, that's been uh, cut, cut in, in half, half and the top it's part still Still thinks, wiggling. Still thinks it's alive. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's the way it goes. Well, we got about two minutes here. Yeah, why don't we get started? Can I roll over? Is, is that she, that's what she said last night. <laughs> do, do you, by the way, every night when I go to bed, I feel I have to kiss you. I don't know why. And you always kiss me in the middle of my back. Well, I kiss you wherever I can find an open space. Well, that's what I do when I kiss you in the morning. I used do you know when I kiss you in the morning? Yeah. Do you feel it? No. Because you're always like fast. You're in your REM sleep. You could tell me you did. You kiss me passionately and I wouldn't know it. You know? You're in your REM sleep when I leave. Yeah. But anyway, so you... Um, I feel it. You, you do feel it. Yeah, it wakes me up. Because I, I always <laughs> like it's her shoulder or her back or whatever. Because one night I did kiss her on her cheek, but I missed her cheek and I kissed her ear. And then she screamed bloody murder. Because you're probably breathing in it. <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, so I I, I, I I try to see if I can see some flesh there. And then I try to kiss that. But I but the, the, the rest of you, just forget it. Well, anyway, why don't we? Uh, why don't you? Why don't you come on over here? Why don't I roll on over? And I will close your mic off, and I will uh, do a few things here. I've got to do such as, and here I'll put the mic here so that it, it gets both of us. It's facing you. Actually, if you go ha halfway in between, go halfway in between. Halfway in between. No, go that that way slightly, slightly, slightly. People can see. Put your hand out. Put put uh, uh, no, move it out that way. See now. Wait a minute. Let me do this. People can see. She's. Uh, wait, a uh, wait a minute. She's she's armless there. Look at that. Look at that. See. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strange. Very strange. Anyway, where are we? Oh yeah, I got to get rid of the uh, music here, and I got to bring up Skype, 
so that we can then talk to all the and wonderful please people. please call in. Is it a feel-free night? No. So feel free not to call? Feel, 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 feel free. Feel free anyway. I, <laughs> I don't know what, what, I want, what that is. But anyway, uh, our lines are open, and it is time now for people to call. If you want to call us, uh, the best way to find out how to call us, if you don't remember when we tell you, you just go to gabnet.net, and you hit the... Uh, uh, oh, there's a problem here with the uh, with the Live video. Stream? With the video. Hmm. Let me see here. Let me see what's happening. Uh, da, da, da. Start it over again. Oh, what? There's a problem with the web, the page itself. Let me see here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're we're on. They can see us. Something just stalled it here. Call in. Boy, there are a lot of people watching us right now. Good. Yeah. But call yeah. in. Uh, but anyway, it's time for people to call in. And if you go to gabnet.net, it tells you exactly how you can do it, how you can get Skype, uh, how you can just phone in. We have a phone number. In fact, the phone number, once we start doing the panel, uh, will be up on the screen. So you'll be able to see that, okay? Uh, in fact, let me show you down in, the, uh, down in the corner there. You can't see it with all that white right now, but when we're on, you'll be able to see the phone number, you'll be able to see the Skype address, things like that. Uh, and uh, all we're, see, this is the new normal, is for me to sit here and wait for the first person to call, because usually the first person to call gets disconnected. Gets fucked. Um, so no one wants to be the first person. One night I'm going to be talking here until midnight, and nobody's going to call because they don't want to be the first one. But just let me say, if you're the first one, I have nothing but the greatest amount of respect for you. <laughs> I care about you. Uh, and, and please call again. And please call again. Exactly. All right. But we got a lot of people watching tonight. Good. So, so come on, folks. We want to make this interesting. It's time to call and to talk to us about <coughs> those things which involve you. And you know what will happen? We'll have a full house by... Uh, Oh, here, here comes Phil. Phil's, Phil's calling, right? Uh, but um, uh, we, we uh, the other night, we had almost a full house within the first 10 minutes of the show. Wow. Yeah, it was a really quick, quick, quick one. Okay, Jason is calling. J Jason is willing to be the first one, and now here comes Phil right after him. Hello, Jason. How are you? Pretty good. Okay. Hi, Jason. Turn on your camera, Jason. I'm trying. The, uh, it won't click. It won't click. Oh, there, there it goes. goes. There it goes. There it goes. There's Phil. There, there. Okay. It worked. Phil, we don't, we don't have a problem tonight. Let me see here. Let me uh, go over to, over to, so people can see both of you. Okay. Because sometimes I just forget in this. Uh, well, you know, on the Skype, we can see both. But on the uh, Facebook, I'm only seeing you and Marjorie. Oh no! You just switched it. Okay. Well, there is a there is a, a uh, lag. There is a lag. Yes, absolutely. Oh, look who's calling early tonight. It's Patrick. Patrick. Hola. Oh, hola. He, he always hola. says that's his famous introduction is hola. He's he are Spanish, aren't you, Patrick? Yeah. Well, I try to be. <laughs> In this country, Patrick is a very Spanish name. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, how you doing, Patrick? We haven't talked to you in a couple of days. Um, I'm doing quite well. Um, went to the doctor today. Everything seemed to be tip top. So yeah, we're good to go. You yeah. actually look healthier than you were looking. You, I think you were looking a little drawn before, like, oh, this thing's really getting to me. You know? Well, yeah. It, well, remember, I had one surgery canceled. Yeah. All right. And, you know, so that's just a lot of extra stress of waiting. So. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I'm glad I look good. So thank you. No, you're you're, you you're fine. And and this will probably happen again, right? Sure as you. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but did they get all of them? Yes. Yeah. Did, did they? But I, but I like to grow new ones. So you know. You should ask <laughs> them to like uh, give you all the all the stones and then make it into a ring. That would be cool. Yeah, a necklace. A, a necklace. Yeah, a pearl necklace. Yeah, <laughs> not. No, that isn't what we're thinking of. Anyway, uh, 
How you doing, Jason? We haven't talked to you. We get to talk to Jason every two weeks. And the reason is, as we all know, Jason is the most pussy-whipped husband in America. <laughs> and his wife uh, doesn't like him calling but once every two weeks and probably doesn't like that either, does she? Yeah, she deals with it. She deals with it. Oh, you're getting some balls now, my man. <laughs> she better deal with it, God damn it. Because <laughs> you're a great caller and we like having you here. We do. And then there's Phil. Hi, Phil. Of course there's Phil. Yes. <laughs> Hi. 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 Phil, oh, the most... Oh, Alan, yeah. I wanted to mention something. Oh. Um, that picture that you put up the other day with the Green Bay Packers. Oh, that the woman who, uh, yeah. who wanted to be my friend. Well, I made her my screen uh, background. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So that actually, I took it. That's on my computer. I just took a picture of it. So it was a very nice photo. I mean, you know. And, and you're a Packers fan, aren't you? Absolutely. And, and she, I mean, why wouldn't I put that on there? Right, of course. Right. And, and uh, she's carrying two footballs under her blouse, which I think is wonderful. Absolutely. And right. I can reach them from the chair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, to explain to people, I get... Whenever I get below 500, 5,000 5, on my uh, Facebook page, which is the limit, there's something that triggers something with all these, you know, hookers. hookers. <laughs> and they all Search start. Search history. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> all of a sudden, they notice it. And all of a sudden, all the people who want to become my friends are these women with exceedingly large breasts. And uh, uh, I just, I don't know why... You know, um, uh, Facebook can't do something about that. And I don't want to be, I'm not a prude. It's not like I mind seeing the tits and I mind seeing having women say, hey, I want to blow you or whatever. That's not what I mind. What I mind is it's fucking annoying. It's you a know? con. You know, what they're looking is for your money. And uh, who knows if the person that's actually putting those things up there isn't doing it for some porn website that's trying to uh, well, they, get you they to click. Have, they always have a, uh, a what do yeah. you call it? A, and it it web, might not web, even be that, too. Web, they might be trying to uh, clone your your uh, Facebook account. Yep. So I, just, I just had the other day, one of my uncles, he posted a picture and I liked it. And the very next day, I get a friend request from him. You know, same wallpaper, same, you know, uh, profile picture and everything. Like, how the hell can I be getting a friend request from him? I just liked his picture yesterday. Well, I'll tell you what happens is a lot of times you get these messages from people and it's selling you something. Right. Uh, and um, it's from somebody you know. Yes. So you so you, you open it. it up and watch and it. I, and I've answered them. I've answered them. Somehow. Somehow. They, they, somehow. Some Oh, boy, let me turn this down here so we don't... Uh, there we go. Now we're better. Uh, uh, they didn't... They somehow uh, get a hold of uh, your friends list or something. Well, that's easy to get and, your and friends And just grab list. a random name a friend, off of yeah. it. And I sometimes it's a person... Them, I think so they I, get all your information. You know, I, I had somebody the equivalent of, like, Patrick, who I know that I got one from, and then I had to say to them, did you, and they didn't know that they were being spoofed or whatever that term I mean, I've responded for. to them, and I've, I've had ongoing conversations until I finally realized this is not my friend. This yeah. is somebody else. Yeah. Now, yeah. if she wanted to become my friend for real, Your friend there. I'd probably boot you out of the house. And with that, I'm uh, saying good night, everyone. <laughs> good, night. good night. Good night. Good night. Have I been it's grouchy this week? Have you been grouchy this week? Is the sky blue? He's been terrible this week. He's been just horrible. Horrible. I've, I've been depressed. Yeah. Yeah. No excuse. Why do you mean no excuse? Of course it's, it's an excuse. It's always an excuse. It's not an excuse. You know. Uh, but anyway, let me move her chair out of here. And uh, we're, she's gone. Now you can talk about her. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, no, I just, I just don't understand why Facebook doesn't do something about all of this. They really you know? can't. Yeah, well, I think they can. Look, if they could build a, co a company as big as as Facebook, hello, Mark. Yeah, let's say everyone. As big as Facebook, with the technology that goes into Facebook, they can certainly figure out a way to keep these hookers from getting a hold of you when you're looking for friends. 
you yeah. know. <laughs> Isn't that when a hooker is supposed to get a hold of you when you're looking for friends? That's right. <laughs> you got a point. Well, you know, you got these people that say that they're from Windows, and you got all these scams going on. And this is just a scam to get your eyeballs on somebody's porn site. No, no but here's so, something, uh, Mark. Uh, your, it, it, is your camera on or? Yes, it is. Oh, well, t turn it off and turn it back on. Sometimes we find now, yeah, you have to do that. And there, there we go. But, but the thing is that, that, that Facebook, being a technologically sound organization, one who knows their technology, I mean, hell, I'm doing the show right now, you know, going out on video every night. They, they, they have the technology to do that. They don't have the technology to, to make it so that people can't spoof the system. One thing, sometimes some of these people who are in charge of the technology, they don't really use the technology the way that the common user does. Mm -hmm. So they don't know what it needs. And Zuckerberg isn't even a college graduate. He dropped out, you know. He'll never make anything out of himself. That's right. <laughs> That's right. No, but I mean, I, I just, uh, I, you know, I'm, I don't want to sound like a prude about this because, quite frankly, uh, I, those pictures of the large-breasted women are, are something that is quite uh, uh, alluring. But I just don't like what it represents, and it represents annoying people who are, are really trying to do something on a private or semi-private basis. You, you know? set security levels? Uh, Maybe a high owl will come up with do an you, Do you know that. what I don't get? Do you do you still get ads on the side of your page? Uh, I haven't noticed. On your Facebook page? I don't get any ads. I don't know why. Well, they realize you're not buying anything. No, that could be. <laughs> yeah. No, but I don't. Uh, don't they have ads on the side? They used to. Yeah, I, I usually look at Facebook on my phone. I rarely look at it on the uh, desktop. So yeah. maybe on the desktop you see it a little. Yeah. How about more. you, Mark? Do you have pictures on Facebook on your? I use a plugin to uh, eliminate such things. Maybe I, somewhere along the line, I got a plugin that eliminated that, which I feel bad about. And I'll tell you why. Facebook is free, and the only way they make money is by running advertising, right? Well, you no, know, I do I, get advertising on Facebook. I bought stuff. Uh, <clears throat> you know, they're like directed. No, I used to get it, but I don't get it now. Now, a long, a while back, I took a free uh, anti, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, program yeah. uh, to you know keep myself from getting virus protection. Vi yeah, antivirus uh, protection. And it was a free one, but you can buy, of course, their more expensive one and get all the bells and whistles and stuff. But I wanted to check and make sure that I cleaned wow. out my machine of any potential threats. And uh, I think it's at that point that it disappeared. And then I got rid of them. I took them off of my computer, and I, you would think they would come back, but it hasn't come back. So apparently, I, I there's a, 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 anybody uh, want to call and tell me why I don't? You know, well, I, I got I, I know you have a potential threat. Give me your lunch money or I'll beat you up. Yeah, well, it, it, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, the biggest threat now is that they hold your uh, your computers for ransom. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the Windows people, right? You know, we're we're from Windows. We're here to help. No. No, 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 they're, no, not, that, they're that, not the ransom. No, people. That, what no, do they that, want? The, the ransom people are the people who say. They they put a uh, they put a virus on your computer, and right. the virus then uh, encrypts everything. Encrypts everything, screws up your computer, erases things, does stuff like that, and they send you a little note, or a little note comes up on your screen saying, "If you want everything back the way it was, uh, send us so much in Bitcoin, and we'll yeah. we'll put it back." And uh, they did that. They did like, that with governments recently. They did that with major companies. They didn't get as much as they thought they were going to get. There was some major uh, virus that uh, was going around, and I think they only got. Uh, uh, they, they, it was directed. They were supposed to get like three hundred dollars per uh, per uh, virus. And, no, but uh, they were going out. Uh, one one of these guys. <laughs> here, here was the best one. They stole a copy of. They found a copy by 
going on to somebody's computer who was with the company or whatever and got a copy of Pirates of the Caribbean, the new movie, the new one. Yeah. And then they told Disney, we're going to release it 10 minutes at a time to the internet until you pay us so much in Bitcoin. Yeah. And of course, Disney told them, go fuck yourself. Great. You know, uh, yeah. because if you start, if you start giving people like that money, they're going to try no it. To it. There's no end to it. Exactly. So, uh, and quite frankly, it's not a movie I want to see. You know, so, hey, I, I watched Bad Moms last night. What's and Bad Moms? Good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was actually very good. Bad Moms, uh, uh, Mia Kunis. Uh, Mia, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis and a uh, couple of other comedians. Uh, it, it was uh, about these moms in the PTA and an overbearing uh, president of the PTA. It was, it was a cute movie. It was on Showtime. You know what I saw that I thought was just great? It's on Hulu, and it is, uh, it's is—it's—it's a Hulu production, uh, and it's pretty damn good. It was called Being Bond. Being Bond? Being B -B. Bond, and it is all about the life of George Lazenby. Was that the guy that wrote all the Bond uh, no. adventures? No. no. You don't know who George Lazenby is? No, who's the guy that wrote the Bond? Name adventures? all the people who've ever played James Bond. Well, there's Roger Moore, uh, who Sean who Connery. Died. Sean Connery uh, mm -hmm. uh, who's uh, 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 there are a couple recent ones. Timothy Dalton. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not a big yeah. Bond fan, yeah. so it doesn't. And uh, George Lazenby. Oh, really? Majesty's Secret Service. He did one picture, and then he decided he didn't want to do it again. Oh. And uh, he, he wasn't, he, all he was was he was a model. He wasn't an actor. He had never made a movie before in his life. And what this movie is about, it's his life history. And it's acted out by actors with him telling the story. Is he still alive? Huh? He's still alive? Oh, oh yeah. 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 He's a good looking old man. Yeah. And he, um, he became, after all of that, he went into real estate and did very, very well. But. He uh, he came from a, a kind of a hard scrabble background, and he was a, kind of a bad kid growing up. It says S G is calling. Who is S G? Hello, is this S G? Yes. And what uh, do, have you called the program before? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, S G, you called the program. Do you have a camera that you can turn on? Oops. Yeah. See if you can turn on the camera and we can see what you look like. And then Brian just called. Hello. Uh, SG, do you have a name besides SG? No, that's it. You just like to be called SG? Yeah. Oh, I see. And where are you, where are you calling from, SG? Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Deep in the heart of... Uh, yeah, I was told you needed some more conservative people on this show, so I decided to call in. Well, good, because Phil's the only one that... And well, actually, we have three now, because Patrick is conservative, but Patrick is a reasonable conservative, as opposed to Phil Meyer, who's a nutcase. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I listened to one of your prior uh, videos, and Phil was getting uh, kind of beat up, so I decided... Two of us against 12. Well, actually, there's three of us. The three of you oh, now, three of us. Okay. tonight. Yeah. Tonight. Uh, right. it's, it's not that bad of a beating. <laughs> I, give it back. Third. Well, I give it back. Yeah. Uh, so do you have a camera? or Can you click your camera on, SG, so we can see it? And so there we go. It's starting to flip around. What will he look like? There he is. God, you don't look conservative. Uh, for Trump University. How conservative are you, SG? Uh, well, uh, I take the tests online and I come out libertarian, but I don't like to say that because it makes you sound like a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm kind of in the middle of the road. Yeah, yeah. But, but, you, but and, uh, you voted for Trump? Absolutely. Oh, ab absolutely. Okay. Because, you see, Patrick didn't. Who did? did you vote for anybody, Patrick? Yeah, you voted for for that clown, Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson, you know. Uh, so uh, because he didn't like Trump, he didn't. Of course, he didn't like Hillary. So. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not. I'm not. 
the characteristics of people is not what I'm looking for. It's the ideas and what people want to promote. Yeah, yeah. So. But uh, it, it, so is 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 Trump living up to your expectations, or are you a little ashamed of having him as president? <laughs> no, absolutely. Really? How, how, now, how's he how's he living up to the expectations? Oh uh, well, in his first hundred days, uh, he has signed um, a lot of things that were that he campaigned on, and um, you know, even Bernie fans would be proud of the fact that he. Uh, got out of the TPP. So if you, look at, if, if, you look at, if you look at what he campaigned on, he's he's uh, delivering on all. Well, of them. he's delivering on them in a very uh, kind of supercilious way, and he's in, by signing these executive orders. And a lot of times, executive orders don't stand the test of the courts. They don't stand the test of Congress. They don't stand the test of anything. Here I'm signing a executive order making Saturdays the sixth day of the week or the seventh day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what he said he was going to do. That's what we expected him to do. And that's what he did. And whether or not it, uh, it sticks, it's what he said he was going to do. He said he was going to sign a lot of executive orders and he was going to, uh, to uh, do these things. I mean, you know, if you get some uh, liberal court that uh, ties him up, some yeah, liberal but, judge but, but somewhere. Sex, I mean, you know, if you get... Somebody's right. got their audio. Sorry. Right. Um, yeah. uh, I mean, just, you know, there's there's just, nothing you can do, but he's doing what he promised the people that voted for him. And I, I, I for one, is I'm very happy with it. And if some of them get uh, tied up in the courts, now it, uh, the ban is going to go to the Supreme Court. We'll see what happens. Two people, turn on your cameras. Brian, turn yours on. And Tony, turn yours on. Has somebody got a fan on, by the way? I can hear a fan. Uh, yeah. yeah. You have... Uh, me, he's uh, throwing things at the wall. And tell, me this, tell me if this goes... Tell me if it goes away. No, don't turn it That's off. That's not like most politicians. Oh, no, no. The court might have disapproved. The, the, the Congress might disapprove. Well, you know what? If you disapprove, you disapprove. Do it now and see what see what comes as far as consequences are concerned. Yeah, that's, yeah. And, and I'm happy well, to like the, the sec That's a trait the, I, can, I can respect that. A, a second right. higher court once again said that he can't uh, do his immigration policies. But it's not the highest court. Well, now it's going to go to the Supreme Court, and that doesn't mean that it's going to pass there either, because this is a religious issue. Jason? Yeah. Well, one thing that was pointed out by uh, one of the political uh, talkers on the news channel um, you know, with he, him wanting to gut welfare, yeah. is saying that the the states that it's going to affect the most are the states that voted for. Him. So why not, you know, let him do what he wants to do, and let the states who voted for him suffer. Yeah. And yeah. hey, either it might work, and you know, other states might take it on too, or it's going to really screw them. And hey, who cares? You're the ones who voted for him. Yeah. But at the same time, the the liberal side of me, you know, says. You shouldn't make people go through that. And also, SG, the, the, the executive orders don't uh, equal passage of law, you know, of changing of law. Uh, it is only a statement, and then people go out and fight whether they can do it or not do it or whatever. Uh, so he really hasn't done that much. He's just... It written a lot of letters. It's like you write a letter to somebody and you say, I don't like this, and you feel good about it. Well, you know, that's not true. You know, if you look at uh, what he's done, for example, for the, and you guys might hate this, for the coal miners, you know, he did the executive order, but the people there, uh, the Democratic guy there in West Virginia, they're, and, and they're going to go for it. I'll tell you, you, therefore, you, therefore, you, you know, uh, therefore, you get, therefore, you get the electoral yeah. votes of West Virginia, you get Penn. Part of Pennsylvania, you get part of Kentucky, so you've locked up 2020 for those states. Yeah, but you're sending Did them back. You know that, you're you know, sending them back into the coal mines where they're going to get killed because of the lack of decent laws protecting them. The EPA you know, is going you know, away. The they want to work. The Democratic, the Democratic uh, senator has, when he came out, he stood with Trump and he says, "You know what? My miners, they are the most uh, ecological people because they hunt, they fish." And all this nonsense about people saying that 
you know, these, uh, this kind of executive order is going to ruin the planet is just a bunch of BS. Uh, uh, Patrick has his hand up, and then Jason. I was just him. didn't know you saw Patrick. Pat, the, uh, Pat, yeah. The problem I have with executive orders at all is the hypocrisy on my side. We bitch about Obama doing nothing but executive orders for years, and then what is Trump doing? Same fucking thing. I mean, I, I, I just to. call hypocrisy out when I see it. It's not a hypocrisy. He his, his promise was to end federal overreach. And the first step of doing that is through these executive orders. I mean, there's a couple steps. So this is the first step, and he's untangling the federal overreach. Yeah, but there's so many executive orders that he signed that he's already, I mean, he's on track to be Obama uh, light. You know, no, he's a, yeah, he's ahead. He's like at 41. Yeah. Uh, Jason. Uh, you know, you're talking about with the coal mines. Yeah, a lot of these power plants, the power plants themselves want to convert from coal to natural gas. Right. So, you know, it, it burns cleaner. It, it's just better for the plant for them to be able to run the plant. Coal's a dying, dying technology. You know, it's it dying. Is. So why it do you is, want to sit there and fight it is, for it? But so it's so there. It is, but it's there. It's part of it. You don't need I, it. You don't need to ruin the yeah. ecology. You don't need to make a rules so that you can just dump the waste of coal mining into waterways. If but we you did, you know, if, the, that's looking yeah. out for me and for you. You don't also make decisions based on something. You don't make decisions based on the good of well, the wait, wait, wait. Let, let SG say what he was going to say, Jason. What? I was going to say you don't make decisions based on 15 years in that from now uh, for what you want to accomplish now. You know, it's it's sort of like, um, you know, some of these things, it's, it's hard to tell. It's like I was in Sunday school, and I take a styrofoam cup, and I had some liberal friends who I love, and they said, oh, you're drinking from a styrofoam cup. I said, well, okay, I'll stop doing that. I'll bring in a plastic one and just keep refilling. Oh, no, don't do that because it leaches. Like, okay. <laughs> I mean, pretty soon you're trying to figure out what is good for the world and what is not. I don't think, you know, anyone who thinks so that GOP you, is anti-climate, anti- You're a religious person, correct? Yeah. You're saying you went to Sunday school. so. God gave you this earth. Did he give you this earth to take care of or for you to trash it? Uh, my yard tells me a little bit of both. So. <laughs> uh, you know, with, with no, the pool, you should be looking out for the health we're supposed to, and welfare we're supposed of yourself, to your neighbor, and your children. Yes, yeah, so we're supposed to be good stewards. Of so if, if coal is already a dying technology, why are you making rules to make it easier for them to pollute? But Jason, you assume it's a dying technology. It's not. There's clean burning coal. We export a lot of coal. We take coal and we make other things out of it. Uh, there's, uh, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's an energy. It's efficient. And maybe you've got to use a little bit of this so that we're not so dependent on uh, Arab oil. We have, we're the world leader. We don't depend on gas. Arab oil, Phil. That's where you're wrong. Oh, they we, are not. We yeah, are. They are. We're, we are. We're getting a, a we are good not percentage. The, we are not their main customers. The, I don't even Canada know. is that, our biggest. Canada is the oil. main place we get our oil from. I think Mexico is number two. Yeah. I, I remember waiting in lines in 1973, uh, whether you had an odd plate or a. Or hey, a what, what, what year was that, Phil? Oh, 78, 79. Uh, so you should uh, learn what year was that? 78, 79. Other technology. I'm sorry. Something. This happens to be 2017. Yeah, the same rules do not apply. We are not getting our major oil from OPEC, and there's a reason why. And the reason why is we have alternative uh, sources of fuel, and oh. those alternative sources of fuel, one of them is coal. Mark, now, Mark can Green you phase is out of coal eventually. Oh, yeah, on. but you just don't can want to. Hold on a second, minutes? Mark Green. If you're listening and you're calling in, we have a full house, and until somebody leaves, can I ask a question you know, now? we have to. We we can't put another person on. Yes. Tony. This is to Phil. If he's so worried about being constricted to oil, then why don't you get an electric car? Well, here here's the thing that, that Jason at I think Jason was getting no, at. Let me see people. let me see if I can state one. Let me it's actually really working out. Let point. me see if I can state this a little more uh, directly. Uh, coal is a dying issue, mainly because the technology that's coming along is replacing coal. All right? And so 
uh, the fact that you're saying, oh, I'm out to save these people and their jobs, well, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, it, you're, 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 uh, you're assigning them a job with a, di a dying uh, uh, industry. Uh, it's just not going to make much sense in a few years to even even dig for coal. It will always the dig jobs, for coal. The jobs for are going to be in the renewable industry. Huh? Some, some grids produce uh, 67 to 70 percent of their electricity by renewables. That's where their jobs are at. Well, also, I got to tell you, you know, the country, we have not uh, actually turned renewables into an industry here. But That's the right. Chinese have, and they're starting to right. make money at it. You know, uh, yeah. It it, it, it can. We got to get caught up. Yeah, it could be a huge industry, but coal is uh, a, a lot of. I don't think Con Ed here in New York uses coal anymore. And yeah, they're nuclear. No, they're not. They're nuclear, <laughs> and they're not entirely nuclear. No, the, the point is not coal. Yeah. That's not the, the point. Indian point. The point. The point, the place, point is the, the, the political. The political promises that he made, he lived up to. I mean, it could be a dying industry. Let's just see. I'll just agree with you, okay? Yeah. It's a dying industry. So what? In that part of the country, those people see that as a way of their livelihood. And and I have seen, there's a video where one of the coal miners, several of the coal miners were up with him, and they said, thank you, Mr. President, for living up to your promises. Whatever their economics are, I it would take me right weeks or months or years to figure out. I don't have time to figure that out. I, I think they want, I, job pro they want job programs and industry growth. There was lots of coal miners that came up to Ohio and worked in factories and got out of the coal mines. Kentucky they as well. They need industry down there. They don't need more coal coal yeah, mining. But they closed the factories. You know, that could be true, but the optics. And the promises that were made, I mean, we're guaranteed, we, GOPs, guaranteed West Virginia, parts of Pennsylvania, Kentucky. How many jobs would you say he, would he saved with uh, the coal factory, if you had a guess? Because I got a follow-up it's, question. It's mostly automated now. There's not that many jobs. That's not the point. Thousands. No, but the only reason why I say it is because the, your same president is putting people out of work in the city because he has to have his family here. <laughs> so he really cares about the work. Jason's got his hand up. Jason, if, if he really wants to do something good for jobs, you know, and the manufacturing would really, you know, it's not as easy as you think to bring all the manufacturing back. Bring back call centers. You know, the oh, guy's God, so yes. rich, he has never had to call to order something, so he probably doesn't know how much a pain in the ass it is for the average American to call up a call center and have to talk to somebody from overseas that they can't understand. Especially Bring back call centers. You can have people who have disabilities who can work from home and work a nine to five job every day and not have to rely on welfare or something like that. You know, bring these freaking call centers back to America. Uh, you know, the front the frontier uh, cable people work from home here in America. Uh, Pat, right. you, you used to be Verizon. Patrick has his hand up. Yeah, uh, I have to agree with Jason on that with the call center. From this aspect, I um, I had to call for my uh, rented insurance. There was some issue uh, that I had to take care of. And I had to jump through so many different hoops that were just automated before I got to a person. And then that person couldn't help me. And, you know, I mean, I think if you had more people in call centers yeah. uh, and that type of thing, I, you know, it might make life easier. I, I guess that's the thing I have it's, it, it's not going to work because they're going to replace it with uh, artificial intelligence within the decade. Well, Most that, call centers will be automated completely. That might be true, but it's the same as the course. Eventually, that's going to be replaced too. So, why not at least for the time being do something that can work? Um, because, again, we're coal is going to go away. Uh, you know, people are working on new technologies, but yet I agree that the coal miners, they need their job right now, and I don't have a problem with supporting the coal industry, but just knowing that eventually that's going to go away, uh, it's going to be the same, like you said, with the coal sector. Yeah. But for right now, there needs to be something. 
Okay, hold on a second. I want to see where this hissing sound is coming. I hear it too. I've been on mute, so I know. You, you've been on mute, Kevin. Mute, mute yourself for a second. No, it's not Kevin. It's SG. Good, SG. I just put a new fan in. I thought maybe it was making noise. Or I think it might be you. Well, it sounds loud hear. now. You did mute there. Yeah, and I don't hear any hissing. Yeah, uh, SG, just I, mute your microphone a second. Let's see if it's you. No. Uh, and so I know it was happening before Tony came on. Mark? Oh, I'll mute. I got nothing here. Wow. Who knows where that's coming from? Patrick? Mute. It's Patrick. It's probably going over the I, Philippines and coming back. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, everybody mute at the same time. Okay. All right. Let's see if it goes away. It, it's not going away. No. Okay. I guess it's something in the in the line. Hey, somewhere. did you mute Alex? Did I? Did I? <clears throat> well, I can turn my. Hey, look! It went away. No. No. <laughs> yeah. I think it's Kushner looking for a clear channel to the Kremlin. It could be. Ah, I'm still searching. Yeah. It could be. It could be just some some random noise that Skype has up tonight. I don't know. But if you if you all went on mute and I didn't get rid of that hiss, I don't feel too surprised. Then who knows? Uh, did, did you know that that Kushner wanted to go to the wanted to go to the Russian embassy and use their phone network, which is monitored by their spy agency, to communicate with the Kremlin and possibly cheaper. Putin? <laughs> Let them pay for it. No, but they would have complete control. Why would he want that? He, he, they, you know, he's on the verge of not a of a felony. They think he, so. We don't know what's true and what's not true. No, There's no, so much don't. false no, news we don't. being reported. But but everything they you know it, it's right very there. easy Phil to to blame everything on fake news because you've been brainwashed by Trump into believing I, it I actually think, exists. I think that you guys are the pawns of the Russians, and you've been brainwashed by their fake news. So I want to hear what, someone. What I want to hear yeah, someone uh, uh, tell a scenario of collusion. Of collusion in it what? No, it, no, we don't need collusion now. That's not needed. Cover up is a crime. Even if the initial action was not crim a criminal act, Explain all we're looking at now is cover up. Walk me They're through those steps. Up. Walk me through those steps. It, it isn't an explanation of collusion. You know, say that the the Russians gave them the information that we're coming out with Hillary's emails, or we're coming out with this or that that we've gotten from Hillary's emails, and then you start saying crooked Hillary, crooked Hillary, lock her up. We got the emails, lock her up, crooked Hillary. Yeah. Isn't that even right there collusion? It came from Assange. No, that came, came from, from the Russians. Russians. I know, but uh, the Russians were the ones that put all of that stuff out and uh, uh, and probably gave it to Assange. So then when you sit there and you start propagating it and start advertising, you're, you're colluding with them. Are you afraid you're not of the really truth? Know that you're trying yes. to. Are you afraid of the truth? The truth came out and there was I nothing there. the messenger and not... Uh, but the truth came out and there was nothing there. No, there's plenty there. What? Uh, what, Benghazi? Yeah, that's Benghazi. Let, let's still talk about Benghazi, even though we know there's something. No, 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 no. Jason, so I'm asking you a question. So let's say, all right, I'll agree with you, all right? Let's just say that Russia and Trump, they had, they said we have this information, and then Trump says crooked Hillary, right? Is that what you're saying? Basically, yeah. You know, hey, here's, here's what we know. Here's a line you could start using. You know, you're uh, saying that's collusion. Yeah, it's working by together. the way, the crooked Hillary line was uh, was coined by Roger Stone, who was working with, he with may the have campaign. Had collusion with the Russians. Uh, no, actually, I, I, actually, I don't think well, Stone. I, I think SG been... was getting to a point. Um, yeah. yeah. Were you getting to a point? Yeah, I was just. Uh, look, you yeah. you can tell there's no Russian collusion by Nancy Pelosi. She says, "Here they have Mueller." They assigned Mueller, right, mm -hmm. as the independent counsel, right? Okay. Pelosi says, oh, well, that's not enough. We need an extra independent counsel that's not associated with anybody, an outside counsel. That's that's because the reason she the says that, the the reason she says that, says that is she knows there's nothing there. We're all of a sudden we're having all these people invest. You know how many different investigations are going on right now? So, do you realize it took Watergate two years to break? Were you saying the same thing when they were doing this to Nixon? 
the, the only thing the special counsel can look was, at is criminal activity. The it other thing they can look at right. now, I uh, think I was whether somebody's to, security clearance should be pulled. I was trying to score with middle school girls during Nixon. All right, let, let me let me let me try and say something here, and I don't know if this is going to sit well with Tim, uh, but uh, quite frankly, uh, you know, we can do all the investigating we want. Nobody is going to uh, impeach Trump. That's right. For this, I don't know about that. That's you, correct. No, I I don't think it. You know, uh, it, imp we've got to find a real crime here for impeachment. Number That's one. That's correct. Number two, uh, he's like any any good businessman. Uh, everybody below him takes the fall. It's a long time before it really gets up to him. Yeah, but we need to get those people out of there, uh, well, even if we can't get rid well, of Trump. Wait, wait, wait. My, my, my question is, Tim, who are you going to get out of there before you finally get down to somebody who you consider honest? Well, I think we have quite a few people. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you, you get rid of Trump, who do you have? Well, we need to get rid and of you get rid of Pence, who do you have? And you get rid uh, of, get rid uh, of the, uh, what's his uh, name, uh, the, the, uh, the, Paul the Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan. Uh, well, who, who, you, who do you, who do you get? Two. In other words, impeachment isn't going to solve any problem that you see it as being. That's right. You know, I, I don't think, we, but we need to take his power away, and we need to get Kushner out of there because he's a he does not belong there. True. He's, he's he's made our country an embarrassment. I don't think I don't think I don't think Kushner is. I I think he's smarter than Trump. You know, so uh, Patrick, yep. Patrick. You know. Being not a friend of uh, Trump's or a supporter of his, look, I mean, the guy is there, and I really don't see any way that impeachment's going to happen. Alex is right. Um, you know, uh, me personally, I don't have a problem with Pence or Paul Ryan, but the thing is, you got to go down so deep to get rid of what. I guess the left considers the the worst of the worst that it's four years. It's not even four years now. I mean, you're already a quarter into the year, and by the time an impeachment uh, trial would happen, and all of that, if it would happen, and then you'd have Pence in, and then the next thing would be try to impeach him. It just it's a clusterfuck. And look, I mean. Um, you can hope and hope and hope, but I don't think shit's going to happen. Well, I, I, I think, and then Phil's next, uh, uh, I don't think that uh, any of this uh, helps because I think, to, number one, an impeachment, look at what it did with, uh, with Clinton and how it just brought this country to a standstill for a while. Uh, I, I also can't see impeachment as the method being used by the opponents to get their opponent out of office. I think there are other ways to blunt his abilities, you know, uh, and and I think that uh, you've got to do it at the ballot box. You got to do it by returning uh, senators and congressmen of your ilk back into Congress, and uh, and that's how you blunt him. If we suddenly had a Senate and we had a Congress in, in session that was primarily Democratic, there'd be no way that he could get anything done. That's right. Okay. All right. Mark, uh, Mark, wait, Mark hasn't said anything tonight. You tend to agree with me on that. That's the thing. Let's say that there was an investigation and they came up with bullet, you know, with with the smoking gun. Look what controls the House and the government right now. How long do you think it would take to go through the proceedings? They would hold it up as long as possible, and that's where. To me, the real crime is because they're not doing their job. Now, this is all hypothetical. Um, I still believe that there's a lot of disinformation out there. And to get to the truth of the matter, I don't think we will. There's just too many factors involved. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I think I, 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 I think it's a waste. I think it's a wasted effort. I think the effort, if you're going to make one is to work locally and get those congressmen and those senators yeah. Yeah. put into office. Now, last night, and I'll go to you next, Patrick, because you've got your... Or Phil, did you... I, I'm trying to figure out who was had first. I, Phil, I think, I'm, had his light up first. We'll go to Phil, and then we'll go to uh, Patrick. But last night, we had a guy up in uh, Montana, 
<laughs> get elected to office after literally body slamming a reporter. But uh, I heard that 75 percent of yes. uh, the people had already cast their votes. Uh, for and it. that may well, well that may well be true. But how does this speak to bad behavior? <laughs> And the fact that, you know, bad behavior is being rewarded politically. Trump was uh, the perfect uh, uh, example of bad behavior when he was running for office. He's, ba he's a perfect example of bad behavior now, calling people stupid and, oh, he's an idiot uh, or he's a moron. Yeah, I know it's all funny, but that's not very presidential, okay? How do you all feel right. about that, S.G.? The way, the way that he acts can in I public. Get a, I mean, can I get a word in it? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Phil wants to say something, and then we'll have SG. Ask that question again in a minute here, Kevin. Yes, right. Phil. I'm listening. I'm, I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Washington Post. Now, let me ask. Uh, this is, and it's going to have a follow-up question. Do you believe what the Russians tell us? Any of you? Do you believe? Okay. Top. Uh, well, nobody top answered. Stories. Nobody. Wait a minute. Nobody answered you. Which, which means we are thinking about it, and we well, don't know. Well, you, it's taking you too long to think. You're well, it's, well, it's taking you forever to think, and we don't hold that I mean, against you. Okay. Now, let, let, me, let, me, uh, let me say this. Top story, uh, Washington Post, uh, says Russian ambassador told Moscow that Kushner wanted secret communications channel. So, you, basically, we don't believe what the Russians are telling us. We believe that the Russians are giving us misinformation. Uh, they're saying, uh, Washington Post says, that the Russians, uh, the ambassador told Moscow that Kushner wanted secret communications, and we're, gonna ready, we're ready to crucify Kushner. So, let me, uh, I just don't see the validity in... Well, what's that saying? Don't trust, but verify. So, hey, maybe, maybe you don't take them at their word, but, hey, that's something to look into. Well, it yeah, may be something to look man. into, but you're condemning Kushner as a, as a Russian spy at this moment. Oh, I didn't and, see this. And I, did you hear me? Did you hear me accusing right. him of that? Yeah. I did? When? Uh, uh, it's the general consensus. No, hey, wait a minute. Makes when makes did sense. I ever accuse Kushner of that? I, I was talking to the general. Well, no, you. but you just said, yes, I did. <laughs> didn't he just general say, yes, didn't he say, yes, I did? No, Is you did. From China, General Yu. Okay. Yeah. Chose chicken. Uh, hey. uh, uh, Kevin wants to ask his question. Keep your question in mind for SG. But I, I, Patrick has his hand up, and I hate. I, I, yeah, I wanted to mention two things. One, uh, to Mark's point about the uh, Republicans holding up an impeachment deal, I don't know if that would be true or not. Only because a lot of Republicans don't like him, and they're only falling in line because. They need to right now, but I think if they had the chance of getting rid of him and then having Pence be the president, you might well see it move along. Okay, that, then, that's that's a plausible scenario right yeah. there. And then my second point is, to the clown in uh, Montana, I just want to say this, and I'm saying it tongue-in-cheek because I love it. I don't think the guy should have been elected. But this is the result of what the Democrats and the left wanted with all of this early voting shit. Here you have it. <laughs> yes. Early voting right there. And, I mean, what were the 75% voted early? Well, there you go. No matter what happened, that guy was probably going to win. And, yes, he's a scumbag. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Nobody could take their vote back. Because we have the early voting, which all the Democrats wanted. Because that could have happened. Here, here's what I would do. Too. Here's what I would do, Patrick. I would do away with early voting, okay, mm -hmm. and I would replace it with Saturday voting, okay, when it's more convenient to everyone, and that it's a 24-hour voting period starting at a different time everywhere across the country, so that people can go vote anytime during a 24-hour period. I think that would make it convenient to everybody. But that guy could have done the same thing on Sunday in your case. Well, we, they, well the reason I'm not suggesting Sunday is because all those no, good I'm Christians are going to say that's the, a bad day. Of course, the Jews are going to yell about Saturday. But The day after the guy gets elected, you know, he could have done the exact same thing. You know, the only way to avoid that is have dictatorship and just say, you know, fuck you. Who cares? This is who's there. Yeah. No, right. yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Kevin wanted to ask a question of SG. Okay. No, I was just I was just asking how he feels about 
the social aspect of Trump and how he presents himself and how he talks so much shit in public. I mean, I would think that he would gain a lot more ground with people on different sides of the fence by being a little bit more presidential. I don't think he's being presidential. He's like a little kid in the schoolyard right now, and, now, and he it, has it, been since the yeah, campaign. Let's, let's, let's be honest with ourselves, right? 80% of us will always vote Democrat. 80% of us will always vote Republican, no matter what, right? You present no? me with a decent Republican, I mean, a good Republican, mm -hmm. and I might have a tendency to vote for him. So you're the so, so, 20%. I'll tell you, I am so and, on fence. I, I was in that voting booth for 20 minutes, trying minutes. to figure out that one so, box. I'm just, I'm just starting. You know, okay. So, you know, maybe his messaging isn't always pristine. But the other day, I looked at uh, MSNBC just to see, and the the guy, what's his name? Uh, the the title of his segment was "100 Days of Chaos." Well, look. Uh, if, if, you, if you're going to say if you're going to say to me that MSNBC is biased, you're absolutely correct. But right, you so also the, have to admit so is Fox. That's just. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> saying. I happen to agree with the strategy the Democrats are taking. I happen to agree with it. I happen to agree with the resistance and the disruption and the phony investigations. I, I would do the exact same thing. Benghazi. <laughs> yeah, uh, Benghazi is a good example of, 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 okay, of the so other side doing then, it. Then you, then you would agree with the, that. Then you can see why I would agree with that strategy. Yeah. So it's it's a good strategy. You got to drag things out in order for so much stuff not but, to occur. But, but, you don't want things to occur. But, but you but, know the but, thing I want to ask this group, yeah. uh, Alex, is who thinks Obamacare right now is a good idea? I'd be interested. Okay. Not perfect, but in general, oh, yes. Uh, let isn't. me put it this way, SG. Uh, uh, I would say, in my case, uh, I don't like Obamacare only because it's really insurance reform and not medical reform. Didn't okay? go far enough. Uh, so we have, and, and, do we and, have three and, out of eight? Well, wait a minute. Let me finish what I'm saying. So I'm not on the side of Obamacare as it stands, but I want it to go closer towards single payer as opposed to what we got, which was basically insurance reform, because that's all Obama could get out of the Congress. And maybe that'd be I, a better question you, for Alex. this group: is who thinks single payer is a good idea? Oh well, I do here. But who thinks it will ever, in the next twenty years, become a reality? I think it will. Well, uh, we almost I, have I, to I, every I'm, other I, civilized country is. Yeah. I, I, Why I, is everybody I'm else? Of, I'm one of these people that honestly believes that within the next 20 years there's going to be a, a civil uprising in this country, it, because this country is not going to give the disenfranchised enough to keep them sedated, so to speak, that they're going to rise up. They're going to say, oh, "We've had it with this," you know, and and uh, we've what, had. Wasn't there a pastor in, in Baltimore what? somewhere? They called it genocide, the new budget? Well, it's going to kill people. There's no question it's about it. It's going to kill people, yeah. There's no question about it. I mean, the CBO has come out with figures which are... Uh, uh, and the CBO is not given to giving dire predictions. They're <laughs> into looking at the numbers and crunching them and saying, here's how it's going to be. And they Did say by the, the, by, and all? by the year 2023, which, you know, you, you could say, oh, that's a long way away, but it's not. It's only six years away. Um, you know, the Republicans badmouth the CBO, oh, 20, but without the CBO, they me. couldn't pass it to uh, re reconciliation. So yeah. Mulvaney was, was explaining food stamps. Did you hear that explanation? No. So basically back in the 2008, you know, Bush disaster, uh, it went from 28 million to 48 million food stamps. And now there's been a recovery. Would you th say that we've had a recovery? The uh, food stamps sit at 47 million. So he was defending that part, that aspect of the budget, saying, "Look, you know, we're here to view this at, from a taxpayer standpoint, and not view it as we're going to have these programs 
uh, doing things as business as usual. Here's what I don't get, though, SG. Uh, and, 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 there's, and, no, there's no recovery, SG. It's only for the upper class. Uh, SG, I've got, uh, here's something that... I'm that, not upper class. Here's, Question two. Here's something that, that, that bothers me, is that the largest amount of money we spend in this country from your taxes and my taxes are for what? The military. And then we talk about government waste. The biggest amount of waste that goes on in our budget is in the military. I mean, huge amounts of waste. Missiles we never use and we have to scrap because they get too old. Things like that. You know, uh, yes, Tony. I have a question on to the gentleman who just said the whole food stamp, stuff like that, to help the underprivileged. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is what I don't get. Say if a uh, somebody who's working and they can't afford X amount of the rent so the city comes in or wherever they live and helps them with food stamps or something to subsidize to help pay their way. What do you care? The guy holds a job and he's just not making enough money. Maybe it's because the companies are too cheap to give them a working raise. It isn't like they're not out there Can working. That? How does that affect you really? Phil, you want to answer that? Yeah. See, Tony, I believe that if you get people to work and no, but they all a, I'm t talking to and you have a, a, a better economy that these people won't need uh, help with food stamps. Yes, they rent. will, Phil, because you're going to have your haves and have nots. That's like saying I'm an A student and the other kid's a D. All right. He's never going to be an A, Phil. I, the cost I, of living I, goes up, but the wage doesn't. Yeah. I, I used to complain a lot about the poor. You know, why doesn't someone do something about it? So I got on a committee. I was appointed by our city council, and I got in a committee to help poor people for two years. And I worked with single mothers, I mean, single he heads of household, but they were all women because the men ditched them. Yeah. And they all had multiple children. One of them had eight children. They were all black black women. And the thing of it is, the, it was called fa uh, family self-sufficiency to get them out of being dependent on the government because there is a sh small percentage of these people that want to not be dependent anymore. But the thing is, entitlements create generational poverty. And I'm not just talking about it from reading a book. I've worked with these people and they, they game the system. They game the system and they've got all these outlets to where they get money from and it's got to stop. Because it, it just keeps them in this place. And I, I can tell you that from the people, I help these people rewrite resumes. I help them negotiate salaries. You get, if it feels right, you got to, if you get them to work and get them out of that mindset, that's where we got to go. Uh, the only way you can have a hold on, hold on, hold on, is saying you don't want to support so many yeah. kids. Hold, that's totally no, different. And we have a bloated hold government hold that supports Hold on a second, Phil. These people Somebody has pop. their hand up, Phil. Uh, Oh, sir. Well, it doesn't matter if I have my hand up. You, you, you pass me up anyway. No, I didn't pass you up. I was, yes, it, 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 people batted things around, and I got to you eventually. So don't give me a bad time. Jason has his hand so, up. Huh? I, do, I do agree to a point that some people get onto the, the welfare, and it does, it, it does become a generational thing. But the only, the only uh, cure for that on the right is just cut them off. You know, That's you, you need to come up with a better, better plan. You know, what? and, and you might, system. you might have to the the moms and the dads who are sitting there on the welfare and teaching their kids to be like that. You might have to continue okay. to support them, but to have some type of program to reach out to the kids better. Well, let me to reach let, out, you know, and, and train them and almost take them away from their parents a little bit as far as you know, educating them, providing after school activities, providing better education. Jason, education. I think I think there's another area that we we haven't dealt dealt with on this on this whole question of uh, of welfare and that's the fact that the welfare system as it's currently set up is kind of a trap and here's the kind of trap that it is the people need welfare money they need the food stamps they need all those things but none of them would like to be on it it's just a matter of circumstance now if you get to a certain point where you go and get a job and you make a certain amount of money it's not like they slowly wean you off the food stamps or wean you off the uh, the welfare they, uh, they, at, a, at a certain point they cut you off so that if you if you even make 
less money than uh, you're making using welfare, you're going to get cut off. What we had a woman do, making $7,000. But, am I, right, you, but wait a minute, am, I, am I right, SG? You need yep. to f come up with a weaning sure. off system, not a cutting them off system. We had, and we're not cutting them off. The, the, uh, we had a woman in our uh, group who made $70,000. She finally got a job. We thought we were going to push her toward getting over the hurdle, and she quit that job because she was better off gaming the system. But Trump, let me ask you, SG, if you lost your job and you had your choice of going on uh, unemployment and still being able to make your house payment and keep your home yeah. or getting a job at McDonald's and you know you're going to lose your home, what are you going to do? Do everything to keep my home. Well, also, so I, I think, I, I think Jason, that. Jason, the question really, uh, that's kind of a bad question only in that. Uh, but, but that was a true uh, question uh, during the uh, housing uh, Unemployment to begin with isn't something that he doesn't deserve because he's paid into it for years. Sure. And when he finally gets it, he only gets, you know, I, I, what I what I get? I got 26 weeks, something weeks. like that, and that was it? <laughs> all you, that money for all the years that I poured money into unemployment. <laughs> should have got fired a little sooner and you would have gotten <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. But anyway, uh, but the, uh, the, the question is, if he suddenly found himself out of work and had no ability for income, let's say he became uh, 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 indigent for one reason or another, what then would he do in order to would he would you take welfare at that point if it, if you had the ability to get welfare you you would rather lose your home not eat be out in the street than take welfare but that, okay. that's your that's that's your argument of the very worst scenario that for me would not occur well, well, but, 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 but here's the, here's the job. here's the point if i lost my job i would not have been able to pay my mortgage my mortgage and i couldn't wait to get out of it was 50 with taxes and insurance was fifty two hundred dollars a month at fifty two hundred dollars a month i needed to get out of that house it took me a while to sell it but i sold it and you know the thing is if i would have been on unemployment and let's say unemployment what's the maximum it pays uh eighteen hundred a month or something uh, uh, i got would i, I keep got my I, house? I, I, what did i get and i got, no, I got 400 400 a week 400 a week so it's 1600 or 1800 a yeah. month you know uh that's uh there's that's no your case phil no, I know, but it, it's 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 the case of, of many. I mean, you got a $2,000. dollar I, I don't know too you many people who have a five thousand dollar house. Payment. I let you live in the basement for a minute. Hey, you know, my feeling is my feeling is they <laughs> want to give me welfare. I'll, I'll take it because for years I gave money into this system, a lot of money, probably more well, money than any. To the point I, that you were kind of making. It I would much, but say you really easily, I put more money into this system than anybody yeah. on this panel. It's pretty and much. You only got Huh? Hey, Alex, I got a question for you. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did you say, uh, uh, Kevin? I said it's pretty much how I ended up on disability. Yeah. I was pre pretty much disabled in 2008, and I kept working because the company put up with me coming in in the cane and, you know, sometimes in a chair, whatever. Yeah. When I got off, when I got laid off two years ago, Yeah. I went through the, never had dealt with any of the government crap, went through the unemployment thing. Mm -hmm. Got to the end of that, didn't realize, oh, that ends. You know, I've been paying into it for 41 years. Yeah. It ended. And in the meantime, I'm trying to get a job, half disabled and old. She's social and, security, medical disability. Yeah, that's ex exactly what I'm on now. Only so that I can be in a house and feed my kid. Well, you're, you're lucky you live in an area of the country that the houses don't cost that much. If you're in the <laughs> area, you'd lose your house. You know, there, uh, if, if I got sick, uh, I, I was I'd, very I'd be, close to that. Yeah. Uh, I was just lucky that I was able to sell the thing. Everybody, no matter how well you think you're doing, is this far from yeah. being in trouble. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Alex, I've got one question yeah. for Phil. Yeah. Could he name one corporation that hasn't taken every dollar and every penny of corporate welfare they can get their hands on? No. And every penny. I cannot name taken. one, but that's the law, and that's what they're allowed. So uh, it's the people like on, it, on the other benefits. They need to stop corporate welfare 
and they need well, to pass the infrastructure mean, hold bill. Tim, I, don't, I don't know what you know, mean by corporate welfare. I mean, if, if they're going to take a tax deduction or they're going to get some sort of subsidy like farm subsidies or something, that happens to be the law. Their government is paying them well, not to the grow law the should be but The law should be that if you... The law, and they're using our facilities and our fire protection, and a lot of these big corporations like GE don't pay any taxes at all. No, but they've got hundreds of thousands of workers that pay. Hey, fuck that. Taxes. My feeling, Phil, is if they go out of business, boo fucking who, somebody yeah, well, else is going to take up the slack. The money comes from the payroll taxes, not from the not from the uh, corporate tax. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure that's going to change, too. Yeah. Uh, Jason? Got his hand up. Why should Exxon oh. Noble be able to get a grant from the government to explore for oil? Because they That's ask. just a business expense, isn't it? Yeah, but we, we be tax they shouldn't get a rent. cent. In other words, if you can't if you can't make your business work, boo right. fucking. Well, who. those are the partnerships that the Democrats created, yeah. and 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 well, and we'll have to find some subsidies for your carpets, uh, 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 <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> so, in fact, the corporate welfare, I I agree that the, the ship got to stop, but you know what? It the company it legal. And it's no different than people on welfare or that that game the system as well. But you if know, it's you know, wait a minute. legal, yeah. it's yeah. going to happen. But you know why it's legal, Patrick? It's legal because these people have the money to send the lawyers to Washington to get those laws passed to make things right for them. They've got a guy in office like Donald Trump who's going to make it heaven on earth for those corporations who are going to pay I less taxes that. now. You I know. don't disagree with that, Alex, but the point is, it's still legal. And it's your business out of my government. But what I'm saying is it's legal because they have put the, the money behind it to make sure it is legal. Where some poor schlub here in Harlem who's just it's trying legal. to survive doesn't have a lawyer to go to Washington and speak That's on his behalf. That's why I want less government. Less federal government. Yeah, less government. Yeah. Out of okay, the, well, I say if you want business. less government, let's stop Get building business roads. Out of my government at let's the same let time. the whole infrastructure fall apart because you want less government. No, it should be taken over by the states. And if you don't like the oh. way your state treats you, Go to some other state oh, to treat Because you're poor and you can I, afford to I, get up and move to another state, yeah, right? Yeah, it's so, that easy, Phil. It's they, that easy. Yeah, it's that easy. Listen, I'm they telling people well, right now, on. hey, you know, the jobs aren't in America anymore. You should start thinking of the world as your place to get a job well, and go to I, other countries. He says he's going to bring the jobs to America, and that's what I want. He, then he's dreaming. He's not going to bring the jobs to America, Phil. The jobs that have gone have gone. They're not coming back. The Saudi weapons deal oh, is going to bring <laughs> thousands of jobs to oh, America. How many of the 9-11 terrorists were from Saudi Arabia? 19. But it, how many it, were there? It's, no, but I don't think it was 19. To denounce Phil. them, they're going to cut the money off to, the, to the, these types of terrorists and these kinds of groups. They're working with us in unison as a partner, not as an adversary. Yeah, yeah. And a $350 billion total deal over 10 years is going to put a Listen, lot of people... they are so scared. They're, uh, they're, so, they're, they're, so, they're, they're, uh, they're so scared of losing what they've got. They're pissing in their tunics. Well, I'm yeah. glad. You know? Uh, Trump knew how to negotiate it. What did he negotiate? Three hundred and fifty billion dollar deal. That's what he negotiated. Because you're wasabi people in Saudi Arabia. They're not the weapons. Yeah, I want to see how many Trump hotels go up in Saudi Arabia soon. Let's see, see nothing is good. Get no, nothing he does is good. Right. Hey, you know, Marjorie uh, had a uh, uh, has a Facebook friend. Uh, let's see if I can find her thing. And uh, she she wrote something basically that she, uh, w uh, you know, I told her uh, she p said something about the uh, Kushner thing. And I said, you know, uh, you're believing false news. You're you're mis being I, misled. You know, when there and, is what is, when, is real news, only real news when you want to believe it, Phil. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. Is, is that really what this is all yeah, about? The because one that's, because that, that's no, that's that's the, the, the that's the same but blanket. I hate to say this. I hate to say this. Wait a minute. Truth, it's the same blanket. Have, it's the same blanket assertion that Adolf Hitler made about the press uh, to discredit them. Just turn off the Hitler. You have blinders on. And and so what I what I uh, what I had Phil, said I was, don't watch I, I who who do you know that doesn't watch the fucking news because I don't like the way they report it? Who doesn't? Right. 
Me. So don't tell me that I'm a fucking sucker for the and, fake news. And that's called blinders, too, because now you don't want to listen to anything. You well, bury I'm not your head in the sand. Do you think I'm going to watch Fox and believe them? Do you think I'm going to watch MSNBC and believe them? So see, read the Christian Science Monitor. CNN, I, don't know I might have a tendency believe, to believe a little bit because they're trying to play it right down towards I, the middle. Half of what I see and none of what I hear. And I, I tell you, you though. Don't, so, you get, some, I, you get, some, you get the right. most misinformation of any human being I know. So don't yeah, tell look, me that I'm the I, sucker. I I I told uh, I told this gal that, and what happened was is she comes back and she says, uh, "I want to defeat Trump under any circumstances." I told her that there were uh, tra uh, traitors in the White House left over from the Obama administration that are leaking uh, these things and causing the disruption mm -hmm. with the English and and so and the British and so forth. I said that it wasn't Trump that leaked the information, it was leakers in the White House. And so they, she said, well, I want to bring Trump down no matter what. So she would rather see our nation be brought down than to allow Trump... All I success. know is I don't care who gave the information out. The British now have said they are not going to be dealing in secret information care? with it's the United traitors. States. It's traitors in the White no, House. I, it doesn't so matter who it is. It's, 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 part, it's, it's, it's his people. It's his people. I, no, it's they're going to be people. They're gonna canned. Oh, yeah? Have they been canned? Fire Who's been canned? The only back. one that's been canned was Flynn. Well, well, remember how that turned out. And Flynn, he didn't want to can, but he had to. Yes, yeah. Patrick. Patrick and then Jason. Those who the leakers are. Shut up now, Phil. It's time for Patrick. It's time for Jason. Jason has yeah, Jason so had a first okay, House Jason. that revealed the location of nuclear submarines. Uh, they revealed the discussion of the location of nuclear submarines when the when they those dis when the discussion was confidential between okay. Duarte and and Trump. It's like you tell so, Trump secret. Yeah, somehow you don't tell people where submarines are because the reason they go underwater is so nobody knows they're there. Yes, but the, and the only reason they know they're there is because you got a big mouth in the White House, and you know who the main leaker is? His name is Donald Trump. Remember no. how Jackie? Uh, and they the ones that because the somehow the his the ego blabber. says, "I've got to tell everybody how important I am." Yes, Patrick. The blabber. Um, the, the way that I look at this, and I have the last several presidents. That would be Obama, George W. Bush, uh, and Clinton. It's the same as the CEO of a company or the manager of a department. They're the ones in charge, and they're the one that ultimately the blame falls on. So even if there are leakers in the White House that are on the fringe, it's still Trump's responsibility as if he wants to be CEO of the company of being the White House, then it's up to him to take the, the blame and say, look, you know, my my fuck up, I'll take care of it. That's how a manager works. And he will. And he should. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Yeah, Just Jim. remember, he who lives by the leak, and that's how he got elected. And by the way, by, by the, the way, leak. Trump has not denied that he leaked some of this information. They told these things to people. No, so, he did. But the thing is, you tell somebody something in private, you tell them in confidence, and then they and, and you have insiders that are leaking it to the press. Well, then that's because he's a bad manager, and he doesn't no, know how to stop those leaks. he's got uh, he's got traitors in his midst, oh, oh, and he's uh, going to yeah. get rid of them. Oh, oh. Why didn't go and to that's the, the same as the reason why all news is fake news. All people in the White House are traitors, and it's not Trump's no, fault. It was Trump's fault because he even talked to the Russians about it. It was Trump's fault because he told people about stuff. In it was Manchester. a transcript. It was that's Trump's the fault. Transcript. It was Trump's fault because he told Duarte about the submarines. Well, why don't you blame Trump? Hey, he I used leaks to get elected. How can you complain about leaks? Exactly. Well, he, he got elected. He encouraged the leaks. They were what? fake leaks. No, with, he uh, encouraged the criminals from Russia. These are, yeah. these are people that are putting their country first putting their jobs in line to leak to the press. I don't see that as putting the country first. If you put the country first, you put our security first. You don't put uh, news stories first trying to bring down a president. Our security. Uh, no, uh, uh, we're trying uh, to get rid of the criminals. We don't have to get rid of Trump, just the people around him in a small circle. Yes, right. okay, Jason's got his hand up. Hey, but, Phil, you say these leaks came from these Obama leftovers, right? Yes. What if you were to find out that these leftovers are actually hired under President Bush's reign? 
Well, that so happens. then are they Obama leftovers or are they Bush leftovers? Well, they're well, they're supposedly Obama leftovers. Oh, and, because they're hired under Bush. Well, yeah, but uh, some of these positions are are just standard positions that you fill. Yeah, exactly, and that's what you're talking about. And so, you think those people actually have the information that well, these, yeah, they, they that these leaks the entail? Transcript. No, yeah, they're, they're they're available to get the transcript, but maybe well, then, you know. Then, you then a lot of people are available to get the transcript, but the, 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 this was leaked by somebody who was in the room. No, no, it was the transcript. There were some of these other leaks came from the uh, Russian um, uh, media when uh, Trump shut out the American media. Uh, no, it didn't. I didn't come from the media. Wasn't it given to either the Washington Post or the New York it, Times? And then Putin said, "Hey, I can give you the transcripts." No, yes, he uh, did say that. He did say that as a matter of because, fact. Because you know, Trump locked out that? the American he, media. He said that. He said, I have transcripts of that conversation. Who, Trump or yeah. Putin? Putin. Putin? Well, yeah, because, and there was transcripts, and that's what was leaked. By the way, that sound, whatever. That came right from the uh, Russian media, though. That was the meeting that the Trump had with the Russian uh, delegate when he shut out the American media. It said no. None of the American media is allowed Trump, in, but the Trump Russian media saying, wasn't. Trump is saying that it came, uh, or his people are saying that it came from uh, White House leakers. And uh, if Putin jumped on the bandwagon and wanted to create more, how do you uh, know uh, that fucking Trump isn't lying? How do you know that Putin's not lying? The, the thing I think is going to be that's funny fun. is I don't look. I don't trust anybody. I think they're all a bunch of lying sacks of shit. And that's you have what, to consider the source every time you listen to something. The Russians were saying they had just as much dirt on Trump look, as they look, did can on I, Hillary. Look, can I can so I just say something? Let me just say something here, and I say this to SG, and I say this to Phil, and and lesser to to Patrick. I am just ashamed to be an American with this man on the world scene. And the way he comports himself and the way he deals with other people and his idea that he can be a slob in the presidency. I think it's embarrassing. It makes me feel bad to be an American when I see this going on. And the fact that the rest of the world looks upon us as laughing stocks. You know, and, 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 and well, let me just say one last thing, SJ, and I'll let you talk. Uh, the one thing Trump will say is, well, I'm not a conventional president, and I don't believe in treating the presidency in the same way. That's right. But you know something? People in this country want the presidency to have a certain dignity because that is the standard by which we live. Okay? Yes, SG. So who's been following Trump on his international trip? I have. So that should give you some indication of how uh, King Salman, uh, they treated him, gave him a royal red carpet treatment. Um, he was also met with uh, Netanyahu, who gave him an equal, who had okay. a horrible okay. relationship. Okay, now, now you've, mentioned, you've mentioned two groups of assholes. Now name yeah. one that was good. I don't, I don't think... Uh, well, I was going to say Gab Net Net next. But, Net uh, Netanyahu <laughs> is a major asshole. The, yeah, but you're saying, you, I'm... And, I, and, and you and, the, and and by the way, the, the Saudi the Saudis. Uh, I know all the know. people I I use as my argument don't count. But let me say this: I'm responding to you saying the people of the world and how you're ashamed. Well, let me say this: those three groups and working with the Vatican and and uh, he has. Did you see the look on the Pope's face? <laughs> does you know, what he, do you mean it doesn't he matter? He has probably. Uh, began the strongest uh, relationship internationally, uh, well, at least uh, stronger than the last eight years. And it is generally recognized by everyone. Maybe there may it's be peace. There may be a coming peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians because of Trump and his abilities and, and what he's really? done with them. He talked Did to Obama. Something? He talked what? to Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. and, so uh, did Obama. Yeah, but Obama didn't yeah, get So anywhere. did Bush. So, so did one Clinton. Trip is going to change Every everything? president who's ever Seems been so. in office has thought he was going to be able to solve that problem, came within a gnat's hair of solving that problem, and it never came to pass. Well, let Several me ask this question. You get, off, you get off the point. The point you said is you're ashamed to be an American. I'm, a, I'm proud to be an American, and that it is illustrated by how he has conducted himself with these countries. I don't think he can... Uh, you must have seen different v yeah, visions of those what, countries. What, what, to begin with, I saw people in, in Saudi Arabia when he was giving his speech literally falling asleep. 
I saw a, a reaction to his speech being a courtesy clapping. That was it. Uh, when I, when I, uh, whatever happened with Netanyahu, Netanyahu is a fucking asshole. And uh, uh, but let's move on to the Pope. I saw a whole bunch of videos of the Pope with other people, with other presidents, with Obama, with the Clintons, with whoever. And he was always smiling and cheery and happy to see them. Guess what? Those pictures of him with it was like he was standing next to the devil. They don't, don't agree with his wife. Huh? They don't agree with each other. And on top of that, the women showed up dressed, dressed all wrong. They looked like they were going to a funeral. He's got uh, Trump has business dealings with with uh, Saudi Arabia. Kirster has all kinds of loans from Israeli banks. That's why they got they got treated that way over there. Well, no, it's, it's, it's don't laugh, so, SJ. They, it, this is true. They do have money coming from Israel. Of course, banks. and they do they do a bunch of business with Russia because that should was should a president was, be doing business with anybody. So I'm next saying, year, I'm next saying year, before next... he became president, a lot of people did. A lot of people who had a lot of money went through Russia and made deals. A lot of people, China, including, including the Democrats. And Trump should next put a, a hotel in Vatican City. You know, yeah, he well, should, he should invest himself while he's president. Phil, there is a hotel. He needs to be there, there is a hotel in Vatican City. It's called the Vatican. <laughs> If, if, if you remember the guy from Montenegro that he, he brushed aside and pushed back in the crowd? No, Montenegro's not even part of that group. The guy said that was bogus. It's fake news. Yeah, no, but yeah, that was Mont Montenegro joined the, photo, the right? European it's, it, No, no, I, I disagree. I, I mean, hold on a second. Everybody, hold on a second. I disagree with you, SG, that it's fake news. But it is it is open to individual interpretation because yeah, we have right. the video and we Let's see it going the link. on. They, they said he was supposed to stand on an X. That guy was standing in his spot, and he just moved him over. Well, you don't push him. Well, you say, you, don't you, wouldn't common courtesy be, excuse me, but I'm supposed to stand over there? Well, they, Rather than, oh, you know. Yeah, he's not allowed to like that guy because he hates that guy. Look, he should have wrote him a note. Look, that's a minor thing. You know, it's a minor no, that's thing. Minor. That's minor. And, but, but what I'm saying is, what I'm his, saying is, you can't label it as fake news when you if, see it. But what it is is a video which you can then, if as Trump as an individual, his, you can if, interpret. Okay. Alex, if Trump rubbed his nose, you'd say he's on cocaine. You know. <laughs> but he was at that thing. Remember? He no, he yeah, he did sniff a lot during the campaign. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And he did go to I, I, those, he did go to those discos years ago. You don't think he didn't yeah. do some coke in there? No, I I don't think he did any coke. Uh, the you guy doesn't you do don't? drugs. You, he doesn't drink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somebody who doesn't do drugs doesn't do doesn't drink doesn't live with his wife doesn't have a dog. I can't fucking trust the guy. Well, well he's great, drunk. He's person. drunk with power. He's been drunk with power ever since. He uh, became a tycoon. Yeah, Mark's been very quiet during this whole thing. I don't he's even know. Is he, is he asleep now? I think yeah, he's, he's asleep. Be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Don't talk too loudly. We don't want to wake him up. Got a glare. <laughs> okay. Is that like a light on prom night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pol political sleep apnea. <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> but but uh, all I'm saying is is that I you know I uh, I I just I, I I'm embarrassed. Okay. I just. I, uh, you, you, you know, the in a way, you weren't embarrassed with George W. Bush. I mean, the guy was a decent guy. Uh, uh, yeah, I but you guys were burning him in effigy, uh, and and you, 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 you know, I remember all the talk about George W. Bush. You couldn't because wait. he lied to get us into wars. No, he was given information that he had. Oh bullshit! On. He said before before he ever even was a president, he no, said that he would take. Saddam yeah, well, and before he was even president, he said he went in Asian nation building. Either he, he said that he was going to go after terrorism, and Saddam Hussein was a major supporter of terrorism. He was paying uh, families twenty five thousand dollars to blow themselves up in Israel and kill maximum amount of people. He was not, however, a major problem in that area. As a matter of fact, he was the only thing keeping it stable. Yes, so, SG. Uh, both my parents. Uh, they're gone, but they were Democrats, so I'm actually pro-Democrat. Uh, I'd like to know what's going to be the winning messages for the Democratic Party in 2020. They need to get back to the middle class. 
Yeah, but they really, they really. The infrastructure and jobs ought to be just number one. Well, no, but I, I, I think jobs. Jason hit the 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 whole thing on the head. Uh, they, they need to align themselves more with the common man, which is what Trump tried to do, but they fell for it. You don't ever think that the guy who says he's oh God, you Mark, hang is, up on Mark. Mark is now snoring. Yeah. I think I better get rid of him. I think I better get rid of him. I hate to do this because he I, was at that I same like conference over in Saudi Arabia. I think. Did you see him? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, he nuked him. Uh, I, no, I, no, I nuked him only because he was asleep and he was snoring, and that was going to get I've, in the way. I better pay attention. Yeah, we yeah. don't want to embarrass him. He's yeah, I mean, guy. other people have fallen asleep on the show, but they didn't snore. Okay, and I, I love oh, Mark. Charlie snored. I think the a little bit. A little. A little bit. Wait a minute. Well, you know, I love Mark, and Mark will understand why we hung up on him. Yeah, I don't want to embarrass him either. Yeah. You know? uh, but well, let's just talk about it for the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Renee will call it. You know, it, it, we uh, talk about you, Jason, when you're not on. <laughs> where where were we? Where, uh, we were talking. The winning Democratic message. Oh, the, yeah. I think to win back those people and make them realize that their best lot in life. It, because they're not wealthy, they're not rich, uh, they're not. Uh, uh, yeah, but they're uh, happy. It, it, huh? Yeah. Middle class, I think, are happy people. Middle no, class. As as, but, uh, there's no middle class left, Jason. They, I'm middle they class. Become either welfare recipients or oligarchs. I'm you not know, a general and I'm not a welfare recipient. You know, that I'm idea that you're class left. That's yeah, why there's yeah, no more money to spend. I'm yeah. middle uh, class, Bill. I'm the one buying your carpet. No, no, no. Hey, I, half you know, of my house is carpeted with your carpet, man. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm middle class, and that's what they need to get the message back out to is the middle class. We're out here for you. We're not out here for the rich. Yeah, we're going to rebuild now, our infrastructure. We're going to redo our water. We're going to redo our sewers. We're going to redo the stuff. You're the exception, not the rule. You, I'd say everybody on this panel is middle class, except for you. You're well, the middle class. No, Most of the no, middle class no. are elderly. Are elderly now. There's no young middle class. Yeah. I if, think I that's what's if I didn't live with my parents, I'd be piss poor. Hey, I'm the part of. The, if I didn't live with my wife, I'd be piss poor. Hey, I'm the part of the <laughs> class that made the top half possible, the bottom half. Oh, yes. stop! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I get a loan? Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> what? Can you get a loan? Yeah. I right. guess I'll just some carpet. Hey, you, you guys, need, you need someone like Obama. I can remember uh, who tells these beautiful stories, but nothing ever comes of it. Yeah. I can remember. Do you times. remember what our economy on, was like before on, Obama tell, came in? Let me, tell, let me tell you just this one story, then I'll shut up. Yeah. So Obama was talking about how we get people. Uh, how the economy, we're going to get people into the economy. So his big phrase word is, I'm going to enroll an army of teachers because he's going to educate people. He's going to bring them. He's going to lift them up. And then they're going to, but where are these army of teachers? It was, it was sort of just a, a beautiful way of saying something that people grabbed onto, but never happened. Hope change. It's, it's laying on McConnell's desk. It was sat there for eight years. And hope and change. So, I think the Democrats need inspiration. They do, but do you remember what the economy was like when he took it over? Hey, no, uh, yes or no? Do you Bob, remember what it was Obama like? Did do, do you remember what the, the NASDAQ was? Do you remember what housing market was? Do you remember what it any was of the, the stuff dumper. was? It was the dumper. But we just got off of uh, a recession of depression for all intents and purposes. Uh, I don't know. It wasn't Obama a bad did, depression did here. I mean, I have education. a Vanguard. I have a Vanguard account that's grown immensely under Obama. Okay, you remember right. Hal Plotkin? Okay. You, you, you remember Hal Plotkin, the guy I got? Require, you didn't require inspiration. Yeah. Uh, he replaced well, Obama, all the jobs that Bush lost, and then some more on top of it. Obama <laughs> did did a couple of good things at the White House when it came to education. If you remember the guy Hal Plotkin, I got you as a guest on the show. Uh, Hal Plotkin was uh, worked for Obama in, in Obama's White House. He was the Deputy Secretary of, edu uh, of Education, I think. And uh, 
Uh, he actually created a number of programs that uh, Obama adopted for um, uh, junior colleges. And uh, so Obama brought in some brain power uh, uh, to help with these things. And Hal Plotkin's the guy, and uh, this show is uh, is copyrighted under a uh, the thing that Hal Plotkin invented, along with Lawrence Lessig, who ran for president. Yeah, what's that? Uh, it's it's not just a copyright; it's an open uh, it's an open source thing. Uh, uh, it's what Hal Plotkin's uh, well, the president. Go, when you figure out what it was, let me know. Okay, I will. Yeah, okay. Source, hey, listen, uh, we're, 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 this has been a very, it's been a great conversation. This has been a great uh, panel tonight. This has just been terrific. It, it's been lively, and it's and and SG, uh, thanks for. Please join us more often. We need your it's kind of common input here. Something common. <laughs> not common, 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 common core. Common. It could be common core. Yeah. It's, common it's, core. Uh, no, uh, it, it has to do with yeah. the uh, open source materials for education. Yeah, okay. it, it, I think it might be kind of okay. Really it, can I say it's goodbye here idea, but... instead of you trying thank to? You yeah. for, thank you for uh, having me, Alex. Yeah. I just want to say I think that we all want peace. We all want prosperity. We all want the pursuit of happiness. We all want this. Yes. Or as it says, out, as it says in the Constitution, out, the perfluid of happiness. Let's figure out a way. More often. Let's yes. figure out a way. Let's figure out a way for us to walk. Well, the first step towards cooperation is for you to call more often because we really yeah. enjoyed you tonight. Thank SG. you very much. Don't feel so shy to share you your name. Speak your side very, very decently. <laughs> Phil, Essex. thank you so much for calling. You're Patrick, welcome. always a pleasure. Right. Brian. Great. Kevin, terrific. Jason, glad the wife let you out tonight. SG, as I said, thank you. Tony, you Tim, you know, everybody on this panel contributed tonight, and uh, I thank you for that. Good night, we everybody. We'll take this to the intersection next. The, the, the intersection is next. You're right, over most of this same gab net, right? Creative it's Commons. Here. It's called Creative Commons. Oh, that, oh yeah. yeah. And that's and, and uh, yeah. Gabnet okay. All right. Is, no, it's Gabnet has nothing to do with Creative yeah, Commons. Yeah, I saw the I saw the thing that it was listed under uh, Creative Commons. Yeah, on, as a, that, uh, they do everything with that oh. on on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Okay. You're, well. Otherwise, you're wrong, Phil. As <laughs> usual. <laughs> uh, goodbye, everybody. All I right. gotta say good night to them because we gotta get out of here because the next show is coming up and the next show is, of course, as always, uh, the intersection followed by shortly after that by uh, 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 <laughs> uh, connections. That's it. Okay, uh, connections, and uh, uh, we'll see you again on Tuesday. We're gonna take the weekend off. Have a nice night, everybody. And in the meantime, uh, we'll see you same time, same station in life next Tuesday. And if you see her, tell her I love her. Well, you saw her earlier. You know, she, she was here. But tell her again before. Okay. <laughs>